let me introduce myself my name is reginald and uh, i did my post graduation from the indian institute of science bangalore okay i know about uh, I, i think you know about iisc bangalore and right now i am continuing my phd from iisc bangalore so welcome to the course first uh, i usually start the course with uh, some suggestions on textbooks okay so i'll just suggest you some textbooks which are very good for heat transfer so the textbooks i recommend are fundamentals of heat and mass transfer by incropera and devit okay this is a very good book and uh, this is being followed by many universities in india as well as abroad okay most of the iits they follow this textbook so i have seen even gate questions coming directly from this textbook okay so it will be very good if you are able to get a copy of this book there is a copy of this book available uh, online also um, but it's a very good book to have okay if you are interested in heat transfer it is a must that you should have this book some other textbooks heat transfer by ozesic okay this is also a very good book uh, this is pretty easier to follow than the first one but the first one is fundamentally very good okay uh, if you are not able to follow this book then you can even try out heat transfer by ozesic third option would be heat transfer by senjal okay i think you should be uh, familiar about this author he has written a book on thermodynamics so the same fellow heat transfer by senjal okay this is also a good enough book so if you can get a hold of any of these three books it will be good and i suggest you get a hold of the first one okay so let's begin okay so first we'll see what is the difference between heat transfer and thermodynamics because thermodynamics is a topic which you have already studied right so heat transfer is a new course which you are going to study so you should first start with what is the difference between heat transfer and thermodynamics uh, what is the difference what do you deal in thermodynamics with in thermodynamics you deal with only the equilibrium states say you have some coordinate okay so you say that the system has undergone some process from state 1 to state 2 and state 1 and 2 are only equilibrium states okay you don't worry how the system has gone from state 1 to 2 okay so if there is a heat transfer from process 1 to 2 you don't say what is the mode of heat transfer which has occurred or what is the heat transfer rate which has occurred that is how fast has the heat transfer occurred right you just worry about what is the amount of heat transfer from process 1 to 2 and in this course of heat transfer you will be telling what is the mode of heat transfer which has occurred from 1 to 2 and what is the rate of heat transfer okay so in this course you you will be dealing with what are the modes of heat transfer and what is the heat transfer rate okay so this is the difference between what you studied in thermodynamics and what you are going to study in heat transfer is that fine okay so what is heat before you start a topic on heat transfer before you start a subject on heat transfer you should know what is heat okay because there is a lot of misconception with this concept of heat okay so first one is i'll define uh, heat heat transfer or heat is the thermal energy in transit due to a temperature gradient okay so this is the definition of heat or heat transfer okay it is the thermal energy in transit okay this is very important due to a temperature difference or a temperature gradient okay and what is transit transit means continuous movement 
okay continuous motion or continuous movement okay so heat is that quantity which is continuously flowing okay you cannot store heat within a body okay when you are when you are storing energy okay it is essentially internal energy okay you you should not call it as heat heat is that quantity which always flows okay you cannot store heat it is like electricity okay it is like electric current you cannot store electric current right electric current is a quantity which flows so first uh, get this misconception right okay heat or heat transfer is the thermal energy in transit due to a temperature gradient okay you cannot store heat in a body okay energy is stored in the form of internal energy you have to first understand that difference okay second thing which i should do is what are the modes of heat transfer okay so uh, this is an online course i am slightly feeling uncomfortable in the beginning okay i'll just get used to it so right what are the modes of heat transfer we all know conduction convection and radiation right these are the three modes of heat transfer and we we'll, this course is about getting into the details of these three modes of heat transfer and calculating the heat transfer rate by these three modes okay so first mode of heat transfer is conduction so we'll start this course by knowing what is conduction convection radiation and by knowing one rate equation for each process okay conduction is governed by fourier's law convection is governed by newton's law of cooling and radiation is governed by stefan boltzmann law so we'll get the basics of these three modes of heat transfer and then enter into each mode of heat transfer in detail and see uh, what are these right so conduction heat transfer what is conduction so which one is correct what is conduction some have this misnomer that it is the heat transfer in solids okay it is not true conduction is not the mode of heat transfer in solids anyway it is it is, conduction can occur both in solids and fluids so the correct definition of conduction is it is the heat transfer in a stationary medium okay so conduction is the mode of heat transfer in a stationary medium stationary medium means the medium which does not move okay so it can occur both in solids and liquids okay so conduction can occur both in solids and liquids as long as the medium is stationary and there is a heat transfer across the medium you call that mode of heat transfer as conduction okay so what is the mechanism of conduction okay so let us see how physically conduction heat transfer occurs consider two plates maintain that temperature t1 and temperature t2 such that t1 is greater than t2 okay so these are two plates with some gap maintain that two different temperatures the top plate being at a higher temperature and the bottom plate at a lower temperature okay and now there is conduction and i i consider a gas or a fluid which is filled between these two plates and because of this temperature difference there is going to be a heat transfer from the top plate to the bottom plate right and it it is a heat transfer through this inter intermediate medium right and uh, what is the mode of heat transfer which can occur it can be conduction so we'll see what is the mechanism of conduction gases are made up of molecules okay kinetic theory of gases says that these gases are made up of molecules and these molecules are in random motion these molecules are continuously moving and they are in a state of random motion okay and the velocity of molecules depends on the temperature okay the velocity of the molecules depends on the temperature and pressure is also related to molecular velocity in one sense but we are only interested in temperature so since this plate is at a higher temperature the molecules near these plates near these plates 
will be at a higher molecular velocity okay so the molecules near the hot plate are going to be at a higher molecular velocity and the molecules at the near the lower plates are going to have a smaller velocity because they have a low temperature so the velocity of molecules depends on the temperature so near close to this plate they will be at a lower temperature and close to the top plate they will be at a higher temperature and these molecules are continuously moving and you have all these plates filled with molecules okay so now what happens is these molecules which have high energy they move very fast they they have a high velocity they go and hit the neighboring molecules okay thereby transmitting some of their energy to the neighboring molecules now these molecules have high energy they go and hit the neighboring molecules and they hit the neighboring molecules and that is how heat transfer takes place from the top place to the bottom plate okay and what happens is these molecules are in random motion but this gas is not in motion okay this gas is stationary that is if you put a pitot tube or something okay you don't see any velocity here the gas is stationary but within the gas the molecules are in a state of random motion okay and heat transfer takes place by random motion from the top plate to the bottom plate okay this is the mechanism of heat transfer in fluids okay both liquids and gases in solids heat transfer can be due to two mechanisms the first one is due to lattice vibration the second mechanism can be due to okay so in solids the mechanism of heat conduction can be due to lattice vibration or due to translation motion of free electrons okay and for for uh, non conductors of electricity there is no motion of free electrons okay because current also electric current is also due to the motion of free electrons so this mode of this mechanism of heat transfer is only for good conductors of electricity but we know very well that some bad conductors of electricity like graphite okay graphite is a bad conductor of electricity but still it's a good conductor of heat so the principal mechanism in, uh, in solids such as graphite is not due to translation motion of free electrons but it is due to lattice vibration you, you know that the molecules or atoms are arranged in the form of a lattice okay and the vibration the lattice vibration creates a transfer of energy from one molecule to another and that is the mechanism of heat conduction in solids okay and also translation motion of free electrons in good conductors both of these mechanisms are present in bad conductors of electricity only lattice vibration is the only mechanism by which heat can be conducted the next topic which we are going to see is fourier's law of heat conduction okay so uh, this is a fundamental equation in conduction okay so you should never forget this relation in conduction right so what if you remember if you recollect the fourier's law of heat conduction it says the heat transfer rate is given by minus k a dt by dx right or let me use partial derivatives minus k a do t by do x okay so throughout this course i'll be using the letter small q to represent the heat transfer rate okay small q is going to represent the heat transfer rate in watt okay so it is the amount of energy transferred as heat per unit time okay k is the thermal conductivity of the medium a is the area of cross section 
and dou t dou x is the temperature gradient okay so area of cross section has a unit of meter square temperature gradient's unit is kelvin per meter change in temperature with change in distance so you see that the unit of thermal conductivity is going to be watt per meter kelvin okay if you know the other units just substitute them in this equation and then you find that the unit of thermal conductivity is watt per meter kelvin okay so the fourier's law says that the heat transfer rate due to conduction is directly proportional to the area of cross section and it is directly proportional to the temperature gradient okay and the constant of proportionality turns out to be k okay 